Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum viewers. Today we will discuss about business communication. What is meant by business communication? It is the process of sharing information between people within and outside a company. What is communication? Communication is sending and receiving information between two or more people. And communication is involved the sender, receiver and the information. Uh, the person sending the message is referred as sender and the person receiving the information is called as receiver and the information include maybe opinion, concepts, thought, instructions and anything else. Okay, types of communication. There are many types of communication. It might be oral, written or non-verbal. What is oral communication? Oral communication, you may, may say it verbal communication verbal communication describes any type of interaction between individuals which make use of words and involves speaking and listening mean in which we use the words to interact with each other it's a oral or verbal communication verbal communication is basically a discussion which is through any uh, medium like it might be a um, mechanical or electrical device but uh, oral communication is also possible uh, face to face so uh, it's all about oral communication what's the example it's very easy to understand oral communication uh, in our daily life we communicate with each other in informal conversations is also a form of oral communication there might be presentations telephone calls these are all common example of oral communication after that written communication Written communication is refers to the process of conveying a message through written symbols. In other words, any message exchanged between two or more persons in, that make use of written words is called as written communication in which written words are used. Mean in common life, if you say, uh, if you are using WhatsApp, then uh, you just type the message and it's this uh, written communication because it's uh, if you... Uh, are about to send an email then it's also a way of written communication letters proposals telegrams after that uh, there is messages brochures all are faxes postcards these all are example of written communication after that non-verbal communication non-verbal communication is important in sense because it includes we are using it in our daily life but uh, in some cases we are unaware of it when that we are using or not a uh, non-verbal communication includes the body language which includes the gestures and uh, facial facial expressions and eye contact for example smiling when you meet someone conveys friendliness acceptance and openness Everyone uses non-verbal communication all the time whether they know or it or not. Means you are uh, just uh, using the uh, facial expressions and eye contact. After that, your um, body language. Non-verbal in communication, you see here, appearance also includes facial expressions, eye contact, gesture, body language. And process of communication. It's a very important part of English language because... Uh, it includes the technical words like uh, here it's the parts of communication basically uh, the process of communication includes in which the, someone sends a message to the receiver uh, by understanding the message and after that uh, the receiver understand it and after that gives the feedback this is the whole process of communication and the part of communication includes a sender encoding message channel of communication receiver decoding and after that feedback what is sender sender who sends the message is known as sender okay after that encoding encoding mean he might be used uh, non-verbal communication or uh, he might be used the symbols and uh, oral communications to uh, make it understandable for the receiver this is known as encoding the uh, way in which the sender make it understandable for the receiver is known as encoding and after that message, message might be any um, opinion, any information, any uh, instruction. So message, once the encoding is finished, the sender gets the message that he intends to convey. Okay. 
द मैसेज कैन बी रिटर्न औरल सिम्बोलिक वर्बल नॉन वर्बल सच ए बॉडी जेस्टर साइलेंस मीन एनी थिंग द मैसेज कंटेन आफ्टर दैट कम्युनिकेशन चैनल कम्युनिकेशन चैनल इज बेसिकली द मीडियम इन विच द सेंडर सेंडिंग द मैसेज टू द रिसीवर सो इन ऑनलाइन सेशंस वी आर यूजिंग द डिफरेंट टाइप्स ऑफ एप्स लाइक जूम आफ्टर दैट एम एस टीम्स एंड मैनी अदर टाइप्स ऑफ एप्स वी यूज टू कम्युनिकेट दीज आर द चैनल्स और मीडियम एंड इन द फिजिकल वी आर यूजिंग दैट स्पेसिफिक डिपार्टमेंट स्पेसिफिक प्लेस एज अ मीडियम आफ्टर दैट रिसीवर रिसीवर इज बेसिकली द पर्सन हु रिसीव द मैसेज फ्रॉम द सेंडर After that, decoding. Decoding is basically the technical term in English language, which is used to tell us how uh, the way the re- receiver understands the uh, message from the sender. Means the receiver interprets the sender's message and tries to understand it in the best possible manner. Mean uh, decoding is the manner in which the receiver tries to understand the sender's message okay feedback mean after that every communication or quiz there is uh, an option that please uh, comment on it or please uh, give a uh, uh, fill that survey about your uh, attending this conference this is known as uh, feedback the, so after uh, the uh, receiver uh, decode it then uh, he will uh, f- uh, give the feedback on that message mean the feedback is the final step of the process that ensures the receiver has received the message and interpreted it correctly as it was uh, intended by the sender so this is uh, there are the technical terms which are used in the english language in communication uh, thanks for watching